Today we're gonna talk about some round brushes here. I have three different sizes. These are the ceramic ones. And then I have a two inch boar bristle wooden round brush. Now, what's nice about the wooden ones, they are great for the fine hair if you have thin hair and you don't want a lot of heat because they're not as hot as the ceramic ones here. So these are a good option for that. And I love the handle on this. It's so comfortable. It's a very good grip. Very, very cool. So this is a two inch um, wooden round brush. So these are the three ceramics and you have your two inch, your 1.7 and then 1.3. So the deal is with the sizes is first, the smaller you have, the curlier, the bigger you have, the straighter, but also your length of hair matters too. So the bigger round brush is just gonna be for your long hair. The medium here, this is gonna be for like shoulder length, and you can do a little longer too if you want a little bit more curl at your end. This is the one I choose. And then your small, um, littlest one here, the 1.3, this is for short hair, you know, up to like five inches of hair where you're gonna get really good volume out of there. So I'm so excited to check these out. What I suggest is definitely sectioning off your hair. So grab a clip and you're gonna wanna take the top here and clip that out of the way. I also suggest a concentrator anytime you're using your blow dryer. This is gonna help distribute the heat down and not take your cuticle of your hair and just blast it and make it all frizzy. So this is gonna keep all that frizz going down and as you use the nozzle, you're gonna to wanna to point it um, down on the hair, not against the round brush, cause that will just create a lot of heat, but pretty close to it. So you're gonna push down with it. So let's get started. So I sectioned off the top of my hair here. I have my concentrator and my blow dryer. I have the medium ceramic round brush that I'm gonna use for my hair. I just want to get volume out of it. I did put a mousse at my roots, but something to keep in mind, these are not detangling brushes. These are styling brushes. My hair is 80% dry right now. You don't wanna start using your round brushes too early. So get most of the um, wetness out of there. I promise it will go so much smoother if you get majority of the water out of there and then start going at it. So let's get started. And the higher also you have um, the brush at the base. If you want more volume, you're gonna take your brush and pull it upwards instead of pulling it down. So I'll show you how to do that. So you definitely wanna get in there, lock it about um, three quarters of a turn in at your base. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull your hair more up. And then at the end, I kinda of give it a little bubble. So let's see here. All right. So I said I wanted more volume. So I'm gonna to want to pull more up. Keep it moving, you don't wanna stop. Because if you stop, you might overheat your hair. So I said I really wanted a beveled end, so I'm looking around it at the end here. So I'm going to go at it one more time, go up at the root, and then bevel it at your end here. And the other side. Pull up at the root. And then pull. Keep it moving. Make sure you're pointing your concentrator down to avoid frizz. All right, so feeling good about that. All right, so onto the next section, you're gonna pull just the middle section here. You don't wanna attack too much hair at once. That's when you get all tangled up and it's just harder to control what you want for your style. So we're gonna clip that out of the way, it's so cute. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, it's not, they're not detangling brushes, so make sure there's not any huge knots before you start going at it, or you're gonna be fighting with yourself. Okay, so. I'm gonna pull up and keep it moving. So that got a great amount of volume right there. So just keep it moving. So 
So a lot of people try to wrap it all up at once to get a curl. You don't. Just slide it all the way through. You can know double if you twist it at the end. But don't try to take it from the end of your hair and wrap it all the way back up. That is when you get all tangled. So feeling great about that. All right. Back, pull it up. I really like to heat up the root a lot and then pull through. So now you can take your top here and I like a pretty heavy part. So what I do is I'm going to take this section dry it this way and then plop it this way um, just to give that good volume and then your sides here I like to pull everything forward um, along the edges here just so it gets nice and full forward and kind of up so let's start we'll start with this here and then we'll plop that over so warm up that face get locked in You can already see all that shine. Sometimes I even blast it this way. You know, you heat up that root and put your belly in there. the section. So do the top. You want that big flow. Do your opposite way. Remember to keep your tire moving. There you go. So you have a good amount of volume there, good flow. These brushes are very nice, they're gentle, the grip was good. I definitely love it. To clean it, there is just a few hairs in there. Now, to keep in mind that these have the boar bristles through them, both of them, be very gentle cleaning them. You don't want to just take another hairbrush and rip through them. That is going to make you lose your bristles and, um, just ruin them a lot quicker, bend the bristles, all that bad stuff. So just take your fingers and kind of go through like you would on your own hairbrush and they easily come out. So not a big deal, super simple to take care of. So I just got done um, doing the ceramic round brush on my hair. I used the 1.7, the medium round brush. It worked like a charm. My hair is frizz free, it's shiny, it's volumized. It feels very, very healthy. My ends are beveled. Um, I'm excited to try the larger one for a smoother approach and the round brush, um, the wooden round brush also because my hair is definitely fine and it is definitely thinner. So I think that will work wonders on my hair too. So I am very excited about these brushes. So I've teamed up with Conair to share with you their spin airbrush. So it's cool because it has a round brush and a blow dryer. So it kills two birds with one stone. You can style your hair as you dry it. It's easy to hold, easy to use. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm starting with clean hair. This is mostly air dried and I have a ton of hair. So I'm mostly letting it air dry and then I'm going to use this to finish up the blow drying and then style it. So here we go. There's three settings on the spin airbrush, low, high, and cool. And then also you use these buttons to rotate the brush one way or the other. It comes with two spin airbrush attachments. This is the two inch wide one and this is used for more volume and more body. And you just use these buttons on the side to pop it off. And then this is the one and a half inch spin airbrush. It just pops on like that and this one is used for more of a curl. They also sell a hot airbrush with a paddle attachment if you don't want the spin brush or the round brush. I'm going to be using the two inch one today because I just want some more volume up on top. I have long hair and so sometimes that can weigh my hair down so I'm going for volume on the top.
Naturals Large Boar Bristle Round Hair Brush is a great larger brush for everyday use. Its circular shape helps to create a voluminous curl with a blow dryer. This brush's nylon bristles mixed with boar bristles helps to style, curl, and blow dry hair. It also improves the health and shine of your hair by preventing oil buildup and hair frizz. Want to get to fine waves? This tutorial will take you through the basics and give you a few insider tips along the way. To achieve the fine waves, you will need a Diane Wave or military brush, pomade, and a do-rag. We recommend starting this process two to three days after getting a fresh haircut and with clean hair. First, apply a pomade to keep your waves in place. Starting at the crown, brush front hair down toward your forehead. Diane Wave brushes are available in soft, medium, or hard bristles, giving you the perfect pull for your hair texture. Next, brush side hair from the crown toward your ears. Side hair tends to be thin. The full brush head connects with even the thinnest sections of hair to form defined waves. Next, brush back hair from the crown down toward the nape of your neck. The curved design hugs your scalp, allowing you to reach the hair on the back of the head with ease. After brushing, Place do-rag on your hair to protect and set newly formed waves. After about four weeks of following our daily brush routine, your waves will start to form. Continue brushing hair daily to keep your waves fresh and defined.